Start to begin our second stage. Eckes and Infinger, the only drivers that have led laps tonight. Off we go, second stint of the event at IRP. The nine jumps out front. And here comes Ankrum. See him three wide back around the 10th spot. He loves that apron, doesn't he? He's been really strong down there, has that 18 truck of Ankrum. Watch that 11, though, to the high side. Going to try to keep that 18 down there. 18 has him cleared. He has Corey Heim cleared. Is that Danny Dye? No, that's Ross Chastain trying to climb inside the top. He's in the top five. He's looking for more. That was a tease, wasn't it? <laughs> I thought the same thing. I'm like, wow, where did he come from on the restart? <laughs> side by side with Corey Heim in the 11. Cool tires here after this restart. Ross making him work. Chastain a winner earlier this year at Darlington. And keep in mind, on the pit box for the 45, Phil Gould. He was really good the last couple of years, calling the shots for Carson Hosovar. Problems for the 76 of Spencer Boyd, but he's able to get it to pit road. Looked like it almost refired there right before he got to the entrance to pit road. Stay green as you see the battle for the lead. Christian Eckes is all over Grant Enfinger. Top five, Corey Heim rides in that fifth spot. He's got Nick Sanchez behind him. Luke Finhouse there, Sammy Smith all battling up near the top ten. This is fun. It is. It's great. I love it. That's what short track racing is all about, when a track gives you these types of options. Remember a minute ago, Phil, a couple laps ago, Chastain just eating that bottom up. He switched gears. Now he's up top. How about Majeski, we documented the fact that he got a restart violation. Lost all his track position, now battling his way back up into the top 15. I mentioned the fact that, you know, he got the penalty. Even though it hurts his track position, he came in 125 above the cut line. I said he's going to the playoffs. He has now, in fact, clinched a spot in the postseason. He'll run for the title. Talking about Ty Majeski. Oh, look at this. Talking about options, he's taking that third option, which is right up the middle. <laughs> This is good stuff. Jake Garcia, the 13 on the inside. There's Taylor Gray, the 17 on the outside. I think Majeski wants that middle. Now he's going to try to cut under the 13 of Garcia. Well, you know, when you make a mistake, and that was a mistake by Majeski. He anticipated the start, but he just went too soon. When you make a mistake like that, you just want to redeem yourself for your team. And he's battling tooth and nail with those other trucks to get back up toward the top 10.